Guys, we've had the flooring redone. She's this impatient is one of the today. <laughs> Harry has had a poop explosion everywhere, so I haven't brought a spare out. Anyone else's baby do this where you go in somewhere dark? <laughs> one piece of advice to new parents, which I think this is huge. I'm getting too excited. Whoa. What is up, everyone? Welcome back. This is a weird. Harry angle. like graved then, yeah, because why have you got it shot up at the? Because you're like two foot. Look, look at the height difference. Welcome back to our channel and another weekend vlog. We've actually got lots yeah. of exciting things. Yeah, we have lots of exciting things happening this weekend. We're doing some things that we've been putting off for ages that are really exciting, aren't we? That you've been putting off. Well, yeah. For Today I am going to buy my wedding suit. We are getting married in August. It is currently February. February. So we're actually ahead of time. But this woman here is um, very much impatient. I don't think we are ahead of time, actually, fam. No? <laughs> I'm totally honest but with But yeah, you. I'm going to go, we're going to Cheltenham because there's a re-shop there and that's where I want to get the suit from. We are also going to be showing you our brand new flooring, mm. which just is, we're so happy with it. Looks yes. so good. Yeah. But we need to tidy the house up first, so we'll show you that a bit later on. We've got some family coming around tomorrow who are going to be just chilling with us, bonding with the boys. But yeah, we're just going to bring you along on the weekend. I think we're just going to tidy up and get our life organised tomorrow. Hello. Whilst we've got some people watching. <laughs> These boys are growing like no one's business. Yeah, they're in three to six look, months. How, look how alike now. they look now. It's only their hair. And they're only three months. They're three months and two days old. And they're in three to six months clothes already. <laughs> Everyone's like, they're so big. Yes, they're on the 98th percentile. Yeah, they got the long boy or genetics. Is it centile or centile? Right, I'm gonna go and sort some stuff out. You need to watch the boys. Who's excited? Are you excited? <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Look at their outfits. They're rocking their new outfits today. Where are these from? Al Vinted. He's got his little ballie. They love these little sensory balls. Ari has got Gerald. This is your best mate, isn't it? Do you love Gerald? Look at those legs going. Ari's hair's growing out on the top now. He had cradle cap, so it was disappearing, but it's starting to grow back now. Look at it. Whoa! <laughs> He's got his dad's hair genetics. Unlucky, son, because you get the odd spiky bit. I think it's like a double crown. But good luck trying to get that cut. Oh. I didn't mean it like that. Are you still handsome? What do you think about it? <laughs> they actually love looking at their reflection at the moment. On their playmat, they've got little mirrors. And the other day, they spotted themselves and they were like laughing. It was so cute. Okay, I've turned airplane mode on. Didn't ask for that. Oh! part making you dizzy. No. Oh, going up the circular bit of the car park, I'm getting well dizzy. Oh my this word. Is like the longest one ever. I feel sick. It is a beautiful day today in England, Cheltenham. What do you say, L15 degrees? Which is very warm, we're getting a taste of spring. But we've got two very hungry boys here. It's just gone their feed time. So the first port of call is to find a restaurant and give them a feed. <laughs> oh, fluffy, keep them nice and warm. Elle, tell them the fun fact about where we are. I went to uni here in Cheltenham. You did your teaching degree, Literally didn't you? Literally just around the corner from where we are. It's really nostalgic coming back here. <laughs> I think, wow, no, we've been here once since. I finished uni. This used to be our stomping ground out in the nightclubs causing havoc, don't you? No, I really wasn't. I think I went out once when I was at uni and that was it. <laughs> you worked so hard at uni. I remember you doing your dissertation and spending hours just typing stuff out. Elle used to go to uni in the week, then she would do placement during the week too, and then you'd go and work on the weekends yeah, too, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Literally like flat out like seven days a week. This is cool, they got all the market on and everything. Before the catastrophe unfolds in Wagamamas, we wanted to let you know that HelloFresh have kindly sponsored this video. Later on, we're gonna be showing you some of the delicious meals and we're gonna be saving you lots of money. Yeah. What happens? Harry's oh, just had a poop explosion everywhere, <laughs> all over his clothes, and I haven't brought spare outfits for them. Oh no. So we're changing in the park. Don't get any ideas. Okay. <laughs> Are you finding this feed? Are you joking? There's poo everywhere. 
I've just spent an eternity in the toilets. Sorry, Wagamamas, I've blown up your hair dryer. The food is here now. I always go for the same yakisoba, pork mow buns, dami beans. You got, oh, what do you get, katsu? I never get this, but I thought I'd change things up. Treat yourself. Has Noah been all right in there? Nice. Right, well that was a bit of a disaster, but I'm excited for this. Eating out when you have twins is another level, isn't it? I have never experienced anything quite like that. <laughs> Fab's in the toilet washing Ari's clothes. Yeah. I'm currently trying to pick baby poo out from underneath my nail. <laughs> <laughs> she got halfway through her meal and she was like, I haven't washed my hands. And they've just had their rotavirus jab, which you can catch, can't you? Oh, so yeah. let's so hope if you I don't get catch rotavirus, that. that's why, because I've eaten baby poo. So. <laughs> Elle spotted a photo opportunity. She That's never. Really embarrassed me. No, well, you never upload to Instagram, do you? And I keep telling her, right, you need to upload more. So everyone go and follow Ellen on Instagram. Right. But look Let at this cool spot. It's like a. Show you how to do it. I know, I on, I literally, it's. No, I've got a trick for you. Right. So when you're taking the picture, take it and then go like that to the side, and then it just takes a burst. Oh. And then I'll just do different things. Okay. That is a hack. Well, I'm the most awkward oh, ever <laughs> person in the whole world. Like, I don't understand how people, like, you just like, gotta have the confidence. confidence. Yeah, you take pictures in public. That's why, like, all my Instagram pictures are just me in a mirror. Like, <laughs> I'll take some more for I you. I need to go with other people. Yeah, you do. Anyone else's baby do this where you go in somewhere dark? Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter, No No? Acquired. I can hang it. Go on then. We're in Primark now. We can't go anywhere without going to a Primark. Do you like these or are they a bit colourful? Yeah, I don't like them. <laughs> yeah, get away! Oh my word. What size is that? They do that in an adult size. I bought my suit. Now I'm feeling a bit weird about it, right? I've bought it, I've kept the receipt. I'm gonna take it home and try it on again. But because I'm so not used to wearing smart clothes, I just think I look horrible in a suit. But and you... he doesn't. He looks really nice. By the way, I don't know if, if she's even a, like she's snuck her way onto this. I've not seen her dress. Is it not tradition that you're not allowed to see it? No, I think the woman's allowed to go and see the men's suit. You it's think? the other way around. Is it? I wants a treadmill for the garage gym. This one looks flimsy though, doesn't it? And it looks alright, but it's more expensive than the one from 500 Marvel. quid. I'm doing laps with the boys whilst Ellen's getting us a donut and a coffee. the donut see. You winding me up and you, you are telling me where are the keys. I mean, asking me. You are the king of just dumping stuff on there. You're the king of dumps. <laughs> anyway, I am currently having a clean up upstairs. I've got mounds of washing to get through. Taking this opportunity where they've got like an hour, hour and a half until their bath time. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to clean. And Fab is gonna be actually be watching the kids. Are we gonna have tea tonight? Are we having tea tonight or not? The Sainsbury's order's coming in a minute. If you don't do your shopping online, it is an absolute game changer, especially when you have young children. So me and Fab, the last time me and Fab went food shopping, the boys were in the worst mood ever. So we were like, right, that's it. We are doing it online and it's just a dream. Just order it online, get it delivered to your door. And there we go. And did you say HelloFresh has turned up as well? Yeah, yeah. Talking of HelloFresh, this part of the video is very kindly sponsored by them. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll know how much we love HelloFresh. We have been using it for absolutely years. Our life has always been hectic. Even before we had the boys, we were always go, go, go. So to be able to have something that's just delivered to your door is just incredible. It's so, so helpful. They have got so many different ranges of food on there and it's such good value for money. This week, I actually let Fab choose the meals for the week, but I'm so glad I did because the meals that he's picked is just insane. We've got a chicken korma, which is actually what I'm gonna be cooking today. Cheesy garlic bread, which is a win. Sweet potato cottage pie. And we actually had this one the other night and I couldn't wait to have this one. Rump steak and Parmesan rosemary roasties. And when I tell you this was amazing. The one we're having tonight is actually a one that only takes 25 to 30 minutes. They do actually have a range on HelloFresh, which is, I think it's called like the speedy range, but it basically means that you can cook it in like 20 minutes. When we first had the boys, I'm not going to lie, our eating habits were appalling. 
We'd either go missing meals, which is really unhealthy. We would be eating really unhealthy foods. We'd be getting a lot of takeaways. On the new year, we've actually said to each other that we are making time for food. And to be able to have something that doesn't take a lot of time at all, is just ideal. Although they are speedy, they are still equally just as tasty. So our new habit is to actually cook and eat good, healthy meals. Now, if you're trying to eat more healthy or if you're trying to find time to cook home-cooked meals, HelloFresh is ideal. Anyway, I'm going to get on with cooking the chicken korma now because the boys need feeding in half an hour, so this is just gonna be ideal to cook this, feed the boys, and then feed ourselves. <laughs> The chicken breast actually comes already cut up, which is just perfect because I hate cutting chicken. <laughs> there we go, all cooked and ready for us to eat. So if you want to give HelloFresh a go, use the code that's on screen now or scan the QR code here to get yourself 60% off your first box and 25% off eight more boxes after that. Anyway, I'm gonna sort through this washing now. I'm actually trying to as well swap the boys over, the boys clothes over in the nursery because they've actually grown out of their zero to three months now. They're moving up into their three to six months. So I need to sort all that out because their nursery is a bit of a mess. We actually just use the cot as the dumping ground for all of their clothes that need to go away. To be fair, I am actually in the process of sort of swapping stuff over. So I've got piles here for Vinted or our little Instagram page that we sell stuff on. Um, and then this stuff is to go through. And I also need to go through their rail and take a few things off here that don't fit them anymore. But for now, it's time to clean the bedroom because I don't know about anyone else, but if I have a messy bedroom, I don't sleep very well. <laughs> And there we go, all done. So I've transferred over their three to six month stuff into here. And then this is kind of a little bit more free now for their next size up. So their six to nine month old clothes, uh, which will actually probably be their summer clothes, which is exciting. But there's a few things we've got so far. And this is all of the stuff ready to be sold. I'm so gutted about some of the stuff that no longer fits them. That is probably one of my favorite things the boys ever wore. It's like a little, um, fleece zip up sleep suit thing it's so cute but I'm gutted that they no longer fit in that but I have kept the other one like I said in case we have another baby oh my goodness look what I've just found in their drawer this is the hat that they got given in hospital look how small it is <laughs> were they ever that small it's tiny I just filmed loads of stuff and I didn't even press record <laughs> I was talking about this cushion um, cause I, because it's the evening. Ari's suffering a little bit with his reflux. I know we spoke about it in a video before. <laughs> Is that him speaking? Yeah. Like um, but this cushion was actually suggested to us by another girl whose baby had really bad reflux. This is actually her cushion. She's lent it to us to try. Boy, um, and Ari. it really settles the boys. Ari like was actually it? just having a bit of a screaming fit because he was in pain. And I've put him on here and as you can tell, he's loving it. It basically just vibrates um, and obviously it puts them on their front which helps settle reflux too. It's brilliant, I'm gonna buy the boys one. Al's been tidying upstairs. I've been downstairs with the boys. We've dropped their evening nap because we found that if they don't have that evening nap, they sleep a lot better, don't they, through the night? They're getting pretty tired pretty quick. So we're gonna bring their bath time. <laughs> Earlier, no. earlier tonight. It's usually oh, yeah. half six. We're gonna do it at six. Noah, right, <laughs> mate. It's bath time first. You've got to have your bath and your bottle, then you can sleep. We got them back, ladies and gentlemen, with this game, which they love. The next day now, the boys have managed to go down for their morning nap, yeah. which is good. Well done, nailing it. They've been working so hard on getting them to nap at the same time each day. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Does it make you fancy me more that I have this giraffe dressing gown? I think it's cute. 
Sorry guys if your girlfriends are watching this <laughs> right now. You better look away because this dressing girl. <laughs> what? It's You're... a girl catcher. It's a girl catcher. <laughs> um, no, I think it's cute because my mum bought them for us when the boys were She bought born. them as a joke. As a joke because I love giraffes. It's comfy, man. We went to bed nice and early last night. One piece of advice to new parents, which I think this is huge, you, hopefully you agree. If your bedtime routine is early and your kids go to sleep early, don't fight it and yeah. try and stay up. Mm. And you know, cause some people I think they want to hang on to that late evening and they'll go to bed like 11, 12 o'clock. Because they, I get why, cause they want to have them like yeah, time, yeah, to time for them. I completely and understand. And we keep saying to ourselves like, when the boys are older, we'll do that. We'll do that. But right now, when the nights are so unpredictable, it's not it's worth just it. worth going to sleep basically at like eight o'clock. So yeah. Then you'll just get, get to bed, place. get the sleep. You'll feel so much better for it, especially if you have a night like we did. Yeah, where they're, they're up at four. I really value time. my sleep. On her hen do. She's she's going to be in bed by seven. No. So Taz is actually to, talking to me about this. You can't go to bed at seven on your hen do. No, yeah, well, probably probably like probably eight. ten past seven. <laughs> no, eight. Ellen, but why? Why would I? Why? Why would I? Like, right? Okay. So, my hen do is for who? It's for you. I yeah, get that. Yeah. So, so I won't go to sleep at seven, but I'm not staying up until midnight. I no didn't way. say that. Maybe a cheeky nine o'clocker. <laughs> yeah. Have you got that in the locker? Yeah, you have. Because in Lanzarote, we were up till like eleven. Yeah. See, so I can do it. And you were pregnant then. Yeah, but I wouldn't choose to stay up till like no, I'm two, three o'clock. You're, you're completely yeah. right, Ellen. It's your hen do. You do what you want to do. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. The boys have woken up from their naps. <laughs> and say morning. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get them changed for the day now. What outfit should we put them in then? We were going to put them in these skate outfits that I've bought them because I'm very much into skateboarding. If you watch regularly, you'll know that. But the trousers are in the wash and they look a bit weird with the ones they have, so. You got visitors today? <laughs> right, dads, because I know for dads, it is a nightmare trying to put clothes on babies. Here's a little tip on how to get sle long sleeves on. Roll them up like that. Put your hand through the hole, fully through the hole like that. Grab their hand and then just pull. Look at that. So much easier. Noah's got the teddy bear long sleeve on, the brown leggings, and then his fan socks, which currently look like ski boots, going farmer style over the trousers. Keep you warm, innit, kiddo? Keep you warm. Really good playing. Right, it's time to show you our new flooring. We were. Right, why do I have to be in this shot? Can I just start? <laughs> Guys, we've had the flooring redone. She's this impatient is what today. Like. She's very impatient today. Oh, we've just got so much to do. For okay, we'll just do this. Look, come here. Do you need a Do you need a hug? Right, it's time to show you. Don't look so moody. It's time to show you our new flooring, which we're absolutely buzzing with. We were meant to tidy the whole house, clean the floor. Um, well, actually, I'm trying to do this, but Fab has actually summoned me here to stand <laughs> here. Your bracelet. You've Brace it. Oh, no, no, come back. come back, come back. Uh, my brother's here. Okay, here is the new flooring. We're absolutely chuffed with it. Okay, roll the montage. helping look after the boys. She's knitted me this lovely beanie. Fits me perfect, mum. And the boys, <laughs> Might be a big, big for the boys. <laughs> what are you doing? As I get smarter, at least I'll grow into it. <laughs> what gonna... do you think, Al? You look like that, um... And it's going to character. Oh, here you go, Al. You put yours on. Fits you even better. <laughs> like oh, my word. <laughs> Well, the second coat's actually covered it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, I was painting. Ellen's taken over because she wasn't impressed with the speed I was doing. And she's already got it on the floor. No, I haven't. Where's the evidence? It's wiped up. Noah saw it, didn't you? doing so we 
you want a shade in between this color which is on there now and the white because this is too yellow so we're going to mix this with that and hope for the and best that is it. give That's it a try happening. yeah and we're not painting it ever again <laughs> wait are we gonna have enough though of that yeah that would do all of that come on then let's just give it a shot shall we such a lovely bright day today we're doing this because this paint is very expensive and we don't want to waste it yeah and we bought two big tubs if there's anyone new watching like why don't you just buy a different color because we've it's spent like 150 expensive. quid on paint and we don't like any of them and we've failed a lot because the samples look different didn't they yeah i don't know but if people were commenting it's because we haven't primed the wall mm. primed the wood because it's like that kind of wood if you can see the orange kind but this paint is designed so you, sh you don't have to prime have to, yeah. but i think because it's a quite an orange wood but hopefully now that we've got these coats on there that's kind of like acting as a primer hmm? looks like custard custard yeah you absolutely that's what you get for rushing too impatient to i told her frog tape is not not designed for carpets is it is it or not is it is it oh jog on you're doing my head in today you are <laughs> diy dave <laughs> look at you take ages We're ready to go. Everyone say a prayer, please, because this is our 75th time painting this wardrobe. It's actually the fifth. I've had enough now. It's actually the fifth, and you haven't painted it once. This one me. That's why it looks so bad. Don't rev up the arm. <laughs> it's time to paint. Okay, I don't want to get too excited, but it's a nice colour, isn't it? <laughs> I'm getting too excited. <laughs> Joust! Let's have a battle. Let's have a battle. Splodges, yeah. Thank you. They call me no splodge Simon. <laughs> just drip that. No, just do the nooks and crannies. <gasps> Your hair's in the paint. What? Your hair is in the paint. Oh no. <laughs> really? Really. Really fat. <laughs> really. Really fat. Really. What's your top say? Big Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Big Mama's house. <laughs> Listen to me now. Oh my god, you have got paint on your hair, in your hair. I know. <laughs> if I ever wanted to get a new husband, yeah, he's gonna watch these videos and say, mm, absolutely not. Yeah. I mean, you're a trap now, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You've got two kids. As soon as they're 18, I'm out of here. No, you're not. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. Randy Orton! So all in here as well. What have you been doing? This is more time consuming than yours. Can't chat. Huh? Can't chat, got painting to do. <laughs> Well, I think it's looking a hell of a lot better. Once we get these coats on, we've got some handles actually to try. Can't believe Ellen's giving me the chode brush. <laughs> what is this? The paint is drying. Now we're gonna hold these up and test and see. Elle prefers gold, I prefer black. And we've got a little visitor who's woken up from his nap. Elle? Mm, okay. There's gold. See, I think gold. Yeah. Oh, they're both nice. Nanny's fringes funny, don't you? Nanny's fringes funny. Nan's been doing a great job. Thanks, Mum, for looking oh, after okay. them. Whilst we've been painting. Oh, We're going to take them on a walk now. Are you going for a walk now? Because look at the weather still. Beautiful day today, isn't it? Can you believe it? We're in a t-shirt for the first time outdoors in 2023. It's absolutely beautiful today proper spring vibes i always forget with these videos that there's new people watching each time so if you are new or if you're a silent watcher and you usually watch and don't comment drop a comment down below because we always love interacting with all of you we stopped at the shop to get some drinks and the snack of choice scotch egg extremely random cheers look at that though is it runny wow wow i don't know how i feel about that mm -hmm. look what i found easter serene loafs this one's lemon and they've got raspberry and white chocolate the absolute best this is one of the most satisfying things for a guy to ever have mm -hmm. in his life why is it so dark 
Oh. Um. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> it's sir. nearly bedtime. You're not meant to be asleep. <laughs> a quick dance with veggies. Just bit in a minute. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> See, how is the thing is how is there three of them dancing at the same time? It's just crazy. And the fact that they're so well choreographed as well. <laughs> It's just in time all the time. <laughs> so, guys, yeah. the wardrobes are looking so much better. <laughs> I feel like that's the this colour we wanted. This is the perfect colour. We've obviously got, I think we might need to put another coat on. I don't know actually. We're going to have the gold um, yeah. handles on. We've got to get new um, hinges yeah. and new handles. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Could you not see my face? No. <laughs> oh, kids are just the cutest. Literally part. every day they do something different, don't they? And you're like, oh, they didn't do that yesterday. They are just love you, boys. Right, that concludes this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you've made it to the end, let us know in the comments. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching, and Bye. we'll see you next week.